How you doing? Uh, my name is Nick, and at 1128 West Gray Street, apartment number 15, I'm going to give you a little tour of what has not been done here. But you know, before we begin, John and I were discussing that maybe these guys aren't so bad after all. They gave us a Chanello's coupon book. Not really a book, but a little flyer. We can get one large specialty pizza and garlic knots for $14.99. Maybe we should just go there instead and not worry about this apartment at all. These guys can't be that bad, can they? Chanellos. We have, uh, well, I guess it's cleaned up a little bit since the last time I saw it. A lot of different particles and shit that can easily just be picked up and thrown away. Broken window panes, one here. Uh, it does not open properly. Um, nope. If I wanted, I could hang something here. This random room, which I guess I can put my body standing if I wanted to. What looks to be like crap over in this little section. Maybe eggs from spiders. I brought the Ortho Max the other day and I sprayed everything, so I think I've done more than them. As we reach uh, the first bedroom, well, first of all, what needs to be said is that, you know, the floors do need to be swept. That would be very nice. You know, I'm very familiar with 21st century technology of tape and staplers. I do enjoy um, a bathroom of which a window I cannot open at all through any means of force. It's been painted over so many times that you can't open it. Uh, we have some bad caulking and black mold growing inside of the bathtub or on this area. I thought it was a smart idea when they decided to leave the window open to let, you know, let it air out, but then I realized later that um, it can't, it can't close past this point right here because the incredibly thoughtful person decided not to take this out. All I need is a uh, Phillips to undo that. I believe this one cannot close either. Oh, it can't move. Not only can it not close, but it cannot move. I still have my chinellos, just in case. Although you are a camera, I know you cannot smell anything, but John and I both smell gas coming from the oven over yonder. As of which, the screen door is very effective to keep bugs out. Maybe they got bigger and decided to rip through the screen door. I believe they'll take over the world one day. But not before I have my chinellos. Oh, also they haven't fixed this uh, electrical router in the back for the fridge, which mixed with this gas would be a very bad combination. I think sort of like a fight club situation where Edward Norton does blow up his apartment, but he really doesn't. But I don't want to blow up my apartment. I want to live in my apartment. How can I live in... Too many questions. As we go into this nice little side room from the kitchen, we'll notice that we have a nice view of a broken window. It's still glass over here. And look, out of the fire escape, there is glass on the fire escape as well. As well as this wonderful little window pane right here. Just kind of... Here's my theory. I think the Hulk was in here, and he just went smash. Look what you've done. Taking a look outside into the fire escape. This is the gas. I mean, excuse me, the, uh, the glass from... Uh, our lovely hulked out window right over to your left. Um, oh, I forgot one last final little thing. Um, you know, once again going back into my other murder room here. Um, 
It just speaks for itself, really. In case you really haven't put the pieces together. Oh, it's it's a perfect fit for a doorknob. I'm so glad I have my chinellos to not worry about these sort of things. That really concludes the tour of a Pollard and Bagby apartment, of which they said would be cleaned and ready for us this past Monday. Today is Friday. I don't think they're going to be ready for a while. I plan to be prorated. Bet that. So I'm going to say adieu and probably go to Chinello's. Not worry about this at all. I'm going to go for that garlic knot special with that large pizza. $14.99? Yeah. They sure look out for us.